What's good, everybody? My name is Paul Ekelman. Um, I'm a rising sophomore at the illustrious Clark Atlanta University, one of the many HBCUs in Atlanta, Georgia. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Um, and when I was, when we, when we found out about what happened with affirmative action, I was with my siblings in the car, and honestly, it didn't feel real. Um, obviously, we had a lot of questions. My brother was the one who had told me, but something that we asked ourselves was, why now? Why us? Even why only race? Um, and how does something meant to solve a problem of discrimination in this country violate an amendment that was meant to solve an issue of previously enslaved people and citizenship? These are things that we continue to ask ourselves, um, but even more so, we have to ask ourselves, how does it affect us as black people, young people, college students, rising college students, and even more so, HBCU students? I know me, my sister, my brother would probably say we are HBCU family, all of us attend HBCUs, but in this, um, which that was an effort we had made, experiencing PWIs wise for the majority of our life, you know what I'm saying, what's good? Um, and experiencing this, we have to ask ourselves, um, how does this affect us, how does this affect many people that are trying to be first generation college students and people in the city who um, want to attend these schools that for one, at one point were a possibility but now is a reach. Um, and it obviously affects a lot of people in PWIs, and black people in PWIs in, majority, in a lot of ways. For one, it affects the amount of black people that are in PWIs. Anybody that has attended a PWI, who attends a PWI, knows how important it is to be around people that look like you and can understand your experience in a place that you're already a minority. Um, but even more so, I think something that kind of went on my heart that I really want to stretch forward to y'all today is to support HBCUs, especially in a time like this. Yes, it's not, it's not easy. I understand, especially being in the East Coast, being in New England and Rhode Island, that there's not a lot of HBCUs around us. And honestly, even where we're at, it's, it's a privilege to be able to leave the state, let alone to attend an HBCU. But I really just want to stress for you guys, especially the people who are um, students and who are rising into college, um, leave no stone unturned and to, and to go and ask for help wherever you can to attend and support HBCUs. Um, I feel like at times when we're being rejected and we're not being helped in institutions and by legislations, the time where we gotta we gotta help each other as black people and as black institutions. So however you can ask for help. If you know any HBCU students, um, we're here to help. But that's my message to you guys today to support HBCUs, especially right now. If you weren't supporting them before, right now, if anything, is a is a time to support HBCUs. Thank you.